Bum ba dum, ba dum, ba bum ba bum. D Lou in the house. Today I want to introduce two programs for the teachers out there who really want to teach, but they don't have a whiteboard or maybe the material they want to teach is something that requires a screencast like uh, computer science, website coding, C++, things like that. Well, the first thing I want to show you guys is Cam Studio. Cam Studio is an open source, completely free program. You can download it on camstudio.org. It's really small and simple to use. But one thing you really want to be careful of is the compressor. By default, it's set to Microsoft Video 1. But you want to put it on something that's better like DivX 6.9.2. I'll put that the download link in the description if you guys want that. And configure. Bitrate. Bitrate determines how big the file is going to be, the video file is going to be, and also the quality of it. So the higher the bit rate, the better quality and bigger file size, and vice versa. So the, for the things on Camp Studio, you could easily explore on your own. There's cursor options. You can set a highlighted circle around your cursor. And there's a keyboard shortcuts, screen annotations. It's really easy to use. So the next thing I want to show you is Smooth Draw 3. Smooth Draw 3 is a virtual uh, whiteboard kind of thing. If you want to con uh, connect it to a tablet, that's really cool. Or if you just want to show other people how to do a certain drawing on the computer, you could also do that with this program. And uh, one thing that I found really, really exciting was if you set the region on Cam Studio to region, as you see here, since I'm using another video screen recorder right now, I don't want it to conflict. But and you click record, it'll let you set the place you want to record. It can be the entire screen or it can be this small section. And if it's this, if it's only this small section of the screen, you can scroll up. But this part doesn't scroll up, so it still focuses on that original piece of the screen. So if you, it would still be right here. It would always be at that section of your screen and because of this you could maybe do 1 plus 1 equals 2 that's all they see right here and you can scroll down it gives them a completely new whiteboard 2 plus 2 equals 4 and you can always refer back to something that you taught before which is really cool so that's all I want to show you guys today and I hope you got something from it well Dilu out